existential guilt is something that uh, anyone who's uh, had a Catholic education inflicted upon them will know quite a bit about. I have been there, done that, as they say. And uh, I've seen some pretty major existential guilt, fli guilt trips inflicted upon people. And it's the kind of thing that can wreck one's life. And I mean well and truly wreck it. It's the kind of guilt that sort of says um, you're guilty just by existing. And that you know you can pretty much never expunge that kind of guilt. Um, that's the implication behind deliberately applied existential guilt. Classic Catholic guilt. Um, what I tend to sort of how I tend to approach that question of existential guilt is um, sort of a litmus test. I sort of say, okay, um, is is the guilt that's being uh, does the guilt that's being sort of brought to bear upon me? I was going to say against me, but not necessarily. Not all guilt is bad. Um, is the guilt that's being brought to bear upon me? Does, does it meet these three criteria? Is it um, reasonable? Are the expectations reasonable? Um, are the uh, expectations achievable? Um, and uh, are the people who are placing these expectations upon me doing so in good faith? Um, that's important, if you ask me, uh, because well, if you've, if there is, if there are certain things that you're expected to do and then you do them, you shouldn't presumably feel any more guilt. Um, uh, unless, of course, the people are, you know, not acting in good faith, the ones who are bringing the guilt to bear upon you. Um, and, and again, if, if guilt doesn't meet these three criteria, then I don't think it's useful. Because people will say that, uh, or, you know, the implication always is in Catholic guilt, or in a lot of it, deliberately inflicted guilt, malicious guilt, or manipulative guilt of one form or another. It's always that... Um, uh, the implication is you must continually try to expunge this uh, this stain, uh, but you never can. Um, and that kind of thing, if you ask me, sort of devalues the entire equation. It makes guilt pointless. Uh, it uh, doesn't actually. Uh, it's not the kind of thing that's going to result in in the better in a better world or in a better you or in a better me. Uh, that's corrupt guilt, I suppose, or not well thought through guilt. So if someone's going to justify, ask me to justify my existence, all right, um, is there, uh, is the means by which they expect me to justify my exp my existence, are they achievable, are they reasonable, and are they being act, uh, are they being uh, brought to bear upon me in good faith? If they're not, bye-bye guilt. <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs>